Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add social media icons to Divi's primary menu. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you step by step how we managed to create this. To add our social media icons, let's start by going into our admin dashboard. So I'm going to come over here, click on dashboard. And then I'm going to come over all the way here to Divi and then click on theme options. So let's go to integration and paste this code in our head section of our website. So I'm just going to stretch this so I can get to see where I last entered my code. So all you need to do here is to just um, make sure that the code that you're pasting goes below the last code that you've pasted if you have any in there. And if you'd like to follow along, uh, this code that I'm using here can be found on our post, which I'll link in the show notes below. So I'm just going to paste it here and then click on save changes. So now let's go and create our primary menu. So I know we have a menu already on our website, but let's just create another one for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to come over here to appearance, click on menus. So I'm going to call this menu two. So first of all, I need to click here where it says create new menu. So I'll call this menu two. Click on create menu. And then I'm going to add a few pages to that menu. So I'm going to start off with, um, say, about, quote, and maybe three. Click on add to menu. Now that we've added this to the menu, we need to make sure that this menu is the primary menu. So to do that, you need to come over here to manage locations. In fact, before we do that, you have to make sure that you save. Okay, so I'm going to click on stay click on save menu and then I'm going to come over here to manage locations so currently it's on ET menu as the primary menu so I need to select the menu that I've just uh, chosen which is menu 2 click on save changes now if we do a quick preview on our website you will notice that the menu has changed you see so that's now our new menu now it's time to add our social media icons. So first off, you need to come over here to custom links. And on the link URL, this is where you add your link to your social media platform or whatever it is. Okay, so if it's Instagram, that's where you type Instagram for. But for now, I'm just going to add a blank link. Next, you need to come over to this website called fontawesome.io forward slash icons. This is where we have all the icons that we can add onto our website. So start off by searching for your icon. So in this case, we're going to search for Instagram. Okay, so we have it right here. Right, so this is the code that we're going to need. So I'm just going to highlight it and copy it. Now, if you need the direct link to this website, it's also on our post, which I've linked in the show notes below. So I'm going to add my um, copied text onto here and click on add to menu. Okay, so now that we have that in place, our custom menu here is what's going to hold our icon. So to add more social icons, you just need to follow this process over and over again until you add all the icons that you need. So let's take a look and see if our icon is showing on our navigation. So I'm going to come over here, click on visit site, and then we're going to come over here to our new tab. And you can see right here in the top right that we have our Instagram icon. Now, if I had the link to, inst to my Instagram account, if I clicked on it, that will take me straight to my Instagram account. So the one question that a lot of people ask in our previous tutorials is, if you have a link similar to this, how do you make it open in a new tab? Because in most cases, you don't want to send people away from your website. Ideally, you, you just want them to open in a new tab and then you still have, and they still have access to your website. Okay, so let's do that. So if you come over here to our custom link, all you have to do is to paste this code in this area here and then click save. Now again, this code can be found on our post, which I've linked in the show notes below. Now let's say you want to customize the size of um, this icon. So what you do is, so what you do is you come over here to Divi and then click theme customizer. And then you go to header navigation and then click on primary menu bar. So as you make your changes here, you can see it in real time that it's getting bigger so as you make your text bigger your icon also gets bigger so this is where you come and do 
all your adjustments. And also, if you change the color, the color of the icon also changes. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna save and publish. And let's come to our page, refresh, and uh, test our icon and see if it's working. So if I click on it, you can see now that it's opening on a new tab. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release a brand new video. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.